This video is for the new rain gear, shows you how to put each section on. In this video, we're going to be going back and forth between a standard and a giant. After you attach the tail to the midsection tube, you will then slide on the tail rain cover and then Velcro the two straps, one on each end. The next rain cover will be the midsection rain cover. You will need to slide this on and Velcro both ends before you start putting on the tubes, moving towards the front tube. This is the pedestal rain cover. You're going to throw this over the midsection tube, feed your rear pulley cable through the appropriate slot, then take your vertical and horizontal brake knobs and those handles have holes for where they will fit through the rain cover. And then on the other side of the rain cover, you will have the whole pattern for your control boxes. You also have Velcro around the whole side to be able to make sure that no water gets into your pedestal upright base. Here is the tripod cover. You can put this on before you put the pedestal cover on. It's up to you what you want to do. Um, I just put it on after I put the pedestal cover on. It has two pouches on it for tools, snacks, anything that you don't want getting wet. They're Velcro pouches, so it will keep water out. This is the tube cover. This is a six foot tube cover. And this is going to go over two extensions. And then what you'll see is I'm pulling that tube cover over and then that's going to slide over the midsection cover. Right now I'm putting the front tube cover on. Before you insert that into your last tube depending on what size jib you're doing you need to put that cover on the front tube before you attach to the jib this is our snoot rain cover which needs to go on before you put your head on it will go over the front of the snoot and then you will feed your front pulley cable through the hole dedicated for that. After you feed the snoot pulley cable through the designated hole in the rain cover, you will then go to the opposite side where there are Velcro tabs. Make sure that each Velcro tab is in the right spot to keep water out of your snoot. The front tube rain cover and the tail rain cover have Delrin pieces sewed onto the rain cover for the eye bolts, so they will not rip your rain covers. This is our pan motor cover. You're going to feed that around the head cable that runs through your head. And you can see here, everything is Velcroed around the cables. There's cutouts for that, for your power to your quiet drive motor and then on the back side you're going to run that through the expansion joint handle and then around the snoot and then you're going to pull the snoot cover towards that again you're going to keep that rain out of there and then you'll just velcro the rest of the sides up and then you should have free movement of the head now this only works in underslung we do not have a overslung rain cover yet Next is the tilt motor cover. You will feed your zoom focus iris cables through the side of the tilt motor rain cover. And then you will slide it down the side in between the camera platform and the outside of the gear. That will keep the motor dry and will allow the camera platform to swing tilting up and down without having any restrictions.
here we have head extension cable covers. These rain cover cable connectors come in one foot, two foot, and four foot sleeves. This is the control box cover. This will go over your monitor mounting plate and will cover your control box cable, your tally light cable, your power and your control cable connectors. Next, I'm putting on the 15 inch monitor rain cover. We also have a seven inch monitor rain cover as well. Here we have the joystick and zoom controller covers. You want to put on the one side of the cover first through the weight bar holder and then put your joystick on and then slide the second part of the cover over that. And then they have openings in the back for you to uh, Velcro around the control cable as well. You're gonna take the zoom controller off. You're going to put the zoom cover on one hole, then put the zoom controller on, and then put the outside of the rain cover hole through that. Included in your rain gear set are two weight covers. This will add a finished look to your jib. To purchase your rain cover set or for more information, visit jimmyjib.com.